NBT News Network. My name is David, and today we'll be taking an in-depth look at sugars and how we are unable to live without them. Let's start off with Lisa at our local farmer's market. Thanks, David. Hello, everyone. I'm stunned by the attention high fructose corn syrup has received from shoppers. High fructose corn syrup is an all-natural sweetener used in drinks and baked goods, among others. Let's ask a farmer how this natural sweetener is extracted. Hi, well, yes, first the starch needs to be extracted uh, from the corn using alpha amylase and then it needs to be treated with glucose amylase to break it into glucose. Lastly, xylose isomerase makes half of it fructose. That sounds like a lot of processing. I guess some may say. Is it genetically modified? Genetically modified? Who cares? Corn is corn. What do you mean? Well, I guess some of it could be modified. How much? Who knows? We don't test for that. Is there anything else you'd like to add about that? Yes. Please remember, high fructose corn syrup can be part of a healthy lifestyle, as it can be found in almost anything. Forget those countless studies uh, linking high fructose corn syrup with obesity. Do give undeserved merit to the few studies that have not found a link, a link between obesity and high fructose corn syrup, like the one in food and chemical toxicology. Thank you. This is Lisa reporting out from the farmer's market. Back to you, David. Thanks, Lisa. That was some solid work. Next, let's hear live debate between doctors maple syrup and granulated sugar. Thanks, David. Well, my name's organic maple syrup, and I only have one minimally processed ingredient. I'm quite concerned with America's intake of refined sugars compared to more nutritious sugars like myself and my traditional buddies, honey and jaggery. But I help shelf life, and I'm cheaper. Really cheap. For good reason. I have tons of trace minerals like manganese and zinc, while you have none. That's right. I'm pure. That's not a good thing. Well, you're expensive, so there. I help keep the cost down in this tough economy. Do you have any pros that aren't about pricing? What about health? Who cares about that? You're just jealous that I'm so popular now. Deal with it. America prefers me over you. Tree blood. Oh, you're a tool of granulated sugar used by companies on behalf of rich CEOs. I think we both made the best case we can here, David. Thanks, Maple Syrup. It's Fun Fusion. It's like a grapple, but without all that bollocks and fiber to slow down sugar absorption. Hooray for blood sugar spikes! <laughs> Grapples have lots of nutrients, but we didn't think there were enough. So we added chemical compounds. Ah! You hear all those children cheering? Yeah! Anyway, folks, if you want to be happy, healthy, and hyper, get your fun fusion today. <laughs> nice one, Jeff. And we're back. Our top story today concerns aspartame. There has been some conflict surrounding this artificial sweetener, found in both diet soda and equal. Thankfully, the FDA has compiled a study of studies discounting any claims that aspartame is dangerous on the basis of because I say so-ism. In other words, studies showing the negative side effects of aspartame conducted up to that point used lab rats that were fed over 4,000 milligrams of aspartame per kilogram of their body weight every day. This is much greater than the USDA's recommended 50 milligrams per kilogram of body weight every day. I mean, why would a substance poisonous in large quantities be poisonous in smaller ones? In fact, the FDA was so thorough that we've continued to use aspartame since 2007, regardless of what other studies have found. It's not as if other studies have used less than 50 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day and found negative results. Right? Anyways, 
I'm sure the FDA or USDA would alert the public of any such findings. On a lighter note, Aspartame is more effective than sugar when trying to lose weight on a diet. Only second to water! But who in the right mind would drink water on a diet? Diet soda is clearly the way to go. So remember, Aspartame is the smarter way! Now we're going to hear from an insider whose identity will remain concealed. He, or she, is from the Underrated Scientific Dietary Association, and will be speaking on the topic of sugar. That was a great joke, David. <laughs> well, you really made my belly bust. As I was saying, my name is Floist, and I'm from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Thanks for being here today with us, Floist. 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 Uh, anyways, let's get started with the interview. How does the USDA feel about sugar? Well, David, sugar, more than almost anything else in the diet, is harmful to the body. To excess, it causes premature aging. Eating sugar causes mood swings, too, by making your body's blood sugar shoot up, then crash down. Blood sugar spikes? What's not to love? Er... Right. Anyway, these blood sugar crashes will cause sharp hunger pangs as soon as an hour after eating. I see, I see. So... Does high blood sugar do any other harmful effects to the body? Yes, like I said, high blood sugar can accelerate the aging process. You see, when you eat large amounts of sugar, it leads to a decay of your tissues from the inside out. This image should help illustrate what I'm talking about. Another thing sugar does for certain is cause rapid weight gain. Yes, we've known for certain that sugar does that, not saturated fats and cholesterol. This sounds like a national health emergency. Has the agents- Let's get back to the health effects of sugar, shall we? You may be wondering, are there any other detrimental effects of sugar? How much added sugar per day should we eat? First, remember that we're talking about added sugar, like in the forms of table sugar, honey, and other sweeteners, not the kind of sugar found naturally in fruits and vegetables. We recommend no more than 6 teaspoons of added sugar per day for women, and no more than 9 teaspoons of added sugar per day for men. Sugar can do even worse to your body than premature aging. Eating too much sugar can impair your body's ability to process sugar properly. Insulin resistance. This causes insulin resistance, a state where your blood's body sugar levels stay elevated. What's more, too much sugar in the blood forces your liver to turn that sugar into fat, leading to weight gain and chronic disease. Ah, well, we're about out of time today, Floost. Thanks a lot for speaking to us. You're welcome, David. Thanks for having me. That's all the time we have today, folks. Thank you for watching, and please, tune in next time for more NBT News.